How do you reader? It's Max from Making Apps and I'm sorry I'm a little bit sneezing today because you know it's pretty cold here in Moscow. Well, up until today we were managing some abstract things such as ideas and plans, but now it's time for some real business. So today I'm gonna present you the Sensor Tower keyword research tool. Here is it. I personally use it for investigating my own ideas. Really, don't consider it as an advertisement of this tool, but I really, really use it myself, so I want to recommend it to you guys for your own apps. Uh, yeah, and back to the old times, the only tool I used was my own intuition. I mentioned uh, intuition, really, because it's also important for you. You know, sometimes all those fancy tools tell you that the app would fail, but in, that, in the end you get the brilliant result. So basically, this is true, because conceptually, these kind of tools, such as Sensor Tower, rely on existing market and existing uh, ideas, yeah? And if your idea uh, goes beyond the current conditions, it's, uh, they, can't me they cannot measure it. So I hope you get the idea. So I consider it uh, these words to be the really the clue part in our tutorial because this is crucial for you to understand the balance between the intuition and your and tools, you know, and pragmatic thinking and stuff. So back to the real world, and Sensor Tower is totally the most important tool for me in mobile marketing. Uh, first of all, because it's completely Android and iOS oriented. It's, you know, it's like especially made for mobile apps. And, you know, I, you know, I remember that I promised also to tell you about the Google keyword research tool. But, you know, there are so many tutorials out there. I suppose I'll post a link in the description to one of those tutorials that I really liked. And uh, now I'm going to tell you about Sensor Tower. Yeah, basically. First thing that we need to do when we come here is login. Yep. We log in and we also can log in with Google or in, or register. Register. Yeah. Login in. So I got some suggestions and it's got a pretty bunch of really useful tools. Uh, but today we're going to use the keyword research tool. Yeah, it's really important because, and it's really cool. Uh, first of all, because uh, ah, by the way, it's free. Yeah, it's really cool uh, because it gives you uh, traffic estimates, the iPhone difficulty, <coughs> iPad difficulty, how many iPhone apps and iPad apps out there there is. And first, imagine uh, we're having a new app idea, and for example, I got my new app. And uh, the app is about psychology of persuasion. And uh, psychology of persuasion is like, it's about teaching the users how to persuade other people. And first tool, so we're going to check, persuade. Yeah, and uh, that's the real app. And it's, I hope it's going to be approved by Apple by tomorrow. And here we got it. So what do we have here? We got traffic estimates, iPhone difficulty, iPad difficulty, how many apps and how many apps there. Uh, the difficulty is uh, how difficult it is to for your app to be seen by users while they're searching for your app. So we ch we're checking like uh, Persuade, yeah, and Persuade has traffic 4.2, and that's really good traffic. Uh, concerning to the difficulty we have here, yeah. So you know, um, let me think. And uh, by the way, about the traffic. Uh, after some thinking and using this tool, I consider it to be like logarithmic scale. So that's more than uh, ten thousand uh, requests per month, something like that. I suppose it's like that. So we got our persuade keyword, yeah, and it's pretty awesome, yeah. So we see that people are searching for our app about persuasion, and uh, it's really easy to for them to um, for, to find our app. Another word for persuasion is I don't know 
if our we want to persuade people, the synonym would be convince, yeah, to convince them to do something. So we search for convince, yeah. Oh, here we got the same. You know, uh, you can see my app out here. Yeah, my first app, Club Lights. Uh, I put it. I've put it here because I really found these keywords before, and I really find them pretty good. Uh, well, we have the uh, again some good traffic and low difficulty. So that's also the keyword I'd like to use. And, uh, and the third keyword, let me think, that would be control people. Yeah, control people. And here we have some different situation. Here we have a quite lower traffic, and that's you know it's that's the logarithmic scale that would be about hundred requests per month, and you know you that's pretty low, and uh, higher quite higher difficulty. So you see that not all the apps, and not uh, all the keywords are that good. For example, let me think. Uh, there could be some keywords like. What could also people search for? Yeah, obey. Make them obey. Yeah, make obey. I don't know if this really if it does if it's really working, but you can see that it doesn't. So calculating means that it's got no traffic at all. Yeah, and uh, but still there are apps like 500 apps for iPhone and 300 iPad apps that do it that. Are, can be found with this search, so it's not a good keyword. Uh, for your idea, search for similar keywords that you would be searching your app, and consider whether people, where whether there are apps like yours, and uh, is it worth making a new app on this topic? Uh, so that's I. I could give me, you know, I could give some criteria for that. So, you know, uh, for a good keyword, the difficulty should be like less than 2.0. Uh, so, for most keywords, it should be like that. And the traffic, yeah, traffic should be at least 3.5 or 4. Yeah, if it's better uh, or higher, that's really great. You know, one of <laughs> you'll laugh, but you know, one of the best keywords out here is sex. And uh, in App Store, I mean, and it's got like really huge traffic. That's you know, that's kind of like I consider it to be like 10 million requests per per month. That's really a lot. But you can see the difficulty here is like 7,000 apps, 3,000 apps for iPad, and uh, yeah, that's basically all. Well, in the next tutorial, I'll teach you the most interesting and intriguing part of our app development process. You'll learn multiple ways how to create an app. And um, all of those ways, except one, are do not include any programming. Uh, so, tutorial is coming to you next Tuesday. And don't forget to subscribe to be first to get it, and not to miss any other cool stuff happening on our channel. And before I leave you, my friends, I want to introduce, say that my app, new app, Psychology of Persuasion, we've been describing here, is coming out this week. I hope, I really hope that it's going to be out to tomorrow or something like that. So check it out and post your reviews to it. So don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.